Now, the homeowner, all he wanted to do for the blocks is have us stick in some rebar upright so that we cut some pieces about 16 inches long. Uh, they're number four rebar. They're, that's half inch rebar. And we're just going to slide them in the edges. So remember, a concrete block is eight inches wide by about 16 inches long. So he went around. He pre-measured some areas every four feet or so. And he just kind of he just kind of made a mark on the form where he wants us to stick those pieces of rebar. And I'm going to show you how I do that in here in a second. This is how we just finish up screeding right to the edge of the form. And then if we do have a little bit of high, we'll just rake it out over the edge. You're not going to worry too much about it. And then clean that edge up with a mag. And then Luke can just bow float, get everything bow floated. You can see how nice and smooth that is after you bow float. So we'll end up power troweling this. That's that's all, all already in the concrete underground, the power troweling or the concrete slab, of course. Um, because we have a lot of power trowels, you could fin just finish this by hand. You could mag float it out, go over it by hand with a hand trowel two or three times. You get it really smooth. Um, that's I, I teach you how to do that, too, if you don't want to rent a power trowel or you don't know how to use a power trowel. Get a pretty nice finish. You're probably going to want a little better finish on your slab floor or your garage floor than just a bow float like this. Just you want it a little bit smoother, a little bit harder, a little bit denser, and it's going to just clean up a little bit better.